Hi everyone, Mike with Presentation Plus Ups. You know, if you're like me, I love using full bleed images when I'm working on PowerPoint decks. It's just so much cooler, has a good feel versus just a boring plain background slide. So in this PowerPoint Boss Moves episode, I'm gonna show you some tips to use text plus pics. I think you're gonna like this a lot. Let's get started. All right, I believe that if you have simple little tips for workflow, it can dramatically turbocharge both your creativity, but most importantly, your productivity. After all, we all have things to do. So here is a very quick strike little video with a tip I think you're going to love. Okay, I'm going to give you one quick tip in this video of how to very rapidly make text over a full bleed image. That is the image takes up the entire slide super legible. All right, you're gonna love this. It's super, super easy. I use it all the time. Here you go. Okay, so I'm gonna back out of this. I'm gonna make myself small. Incidentally, if you're curious how you use these green screen effects, check out my channel, Presentation Plus Ups. Like, subscribe, smash that notifications button for all kinds of tips and strategies for virtual or presentation design. But let's take a look at this here. What you can see here is I have an image and I've got it taking up the entire slide. If I just back this out, this image takes up the entire slide. I'm gonna center it. And the thing is, you can see I've got a text box on here and if I just put in the words, hello, boy, it's, it's tough to see, isn't it? It's just, it's, it's very tough to see. So here is one quick, easy tip for you here, okay? What I want you to do is select the image and I want you to fill that image with black, okay? And you're gonna see where I go in a second here. So you can do it a couple ways. If you've customized your quick access panel up top, you can hit the fill button and just select black. If you haven't done that, you can select the image, look on your home menu over to the right and look for shape fill and select black. Okay, you've done that and you're like, well, that's not helping the show here, bud. So what I want you to do next is when you've selected the picture, go to picture format. What I want you to do is go to transparency and start doling down that transparency and voila, you've got that set, okay? I think that's a key, very easy way to go ahead and adjust a picture and make it more legible. So that's tip number one. That's a super easy thing that you can do. Second way you can do this, and I think this is a little more laborious, but it's a way that you can do it is you can insert a shape. So you can go to insert shape, click on a shape, and let's just say, okay, we're gonna wanna put a box, let's say arguably like right here on it, okay? And if you notice, I'm just dragging those handles here. And then what you can do is you can, in the format shape, so you might need to right click the image and click on format shape to bring up this panel. And then from here, you can go to transparency and slide that down. Let's just say it's, arbitrarily 40, let's say 40%. I'm just gonna go in here and do it like that. All right, and then what we can do is we can lower the hierarchy of this. So if you use the selection pane, so under home, arrange, you can set up your selection pane and you can see I can show and hide that rectangle and I can drop it below the image. And then you've got another way that you can quickly uh, go ahead and add some legibility. So let's say you wanted to create a left-hand gutter. That's about, let's say a third of this slide size. And if you notice, I've got my grids set up even on this image. And I'm gonna take this, I'm going to left adjust it. I'm gonna just drag that handle over here. And uh, I think that was basically a, a Seinfeld homage. Hello, Jerry. <laughs> okay, so now we have, if I put that in show mode, we've got a pretty good looking box here. I think there's a couple things. There's a line on that. It looks a little rough. Uh, we're gonna make that go all the way to the bottom. Now, if we took these two things, we duplicated them, we cut them, we put them on the slide uh, to the left of it, and we just messed around with them a little bit. And we had the morph transition set to about a 1.25. Now you have a slick little example of how you've got a little bit of motion going on there. And ignore the PowerPoint that's flying around the city here. But the point is you can do it that way. The other way is I'm gonna bring this one back up so you can see that hierarchy. And you're gonna see there's a couple of different ways that you can uh, handle this. I'm gonna make that image a little bit bigger. By the way, I'm holding down shift up arrow while I'm making that image huge. You can see it's about four times the size of the slide. That little grid is right there. And now we can go ahead and bring that up, okay? So you've got some really cool effects. Okay, there's a few tips on how to work with images to still retain the nice, cool, full bleed slide design. 
but add some text readability. Hopefully you enjoyed those. Folks, I'm just getting started. I have so many workflow tips and strategies, whether it's for presentations, whether it's for virtual office production, just check out my channel, Presentation Plus Up. So I would love it if you'd subscribe. I wanna keep making great content for you. If you have a challenge on design, virtual production, green screen technology, give me a holler. This is what I love doing. It's a hobby of mine and I'm there to help you. If you need personal consultation help, check me out at flowstrategic.com or michael at flowstrategic.com. Come give me a holler. I do after hours consulting. But in the meantime, thanks for tuning in. Please make it a great day.